Hey everyone, I am back today to do a process video and also um, have this video go along with my tips and tricks blog post for the Felicity Jane um, creative team project that I'm working on and I am using the Felicity Jane Maggie kit bow not included. I don't know why I stick bows on everything, but it's like my thing. I just put bows on everything and it matched my craft room and I have this sitting on my desk and I was like, oh, that would be cute there. Anyways, that's totally beside the point. I'm going to take you into the kit, show you a couple things that I'm really loving right now, and then show you how you can alter some of the stuff that came with it. So let's just get started. Okay. So as you can see, I already have a bunch of stuff laid out here that I'm going to use. Um, so let me just take out some of these things and just show you. All right, so with the kit this month, oh my gosh, the papers are just so cute. And I just love the color scheme and everything. It's just so fun. But I love this paper so, 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 so much. Oh my gosh, these hearts are just, oh, they're adorable. So I really love these hearts. And on the cut apart sheet that comes with it, you can also cut this one out so this one matches excuse the gold glitter everywhere I've had gold glitter all over this room for like weeks now <laughs> but anyways there's um this one matches it so I thought that was fun but I really wanted to use this paper because it matches the colors of these pictures that I plan on using so let me just let me just fill you in on the picture <laughs> the, or, you know, what I'm documenting. Um, so whenever we traveled to Pennsylvania to visit family a couple weeks ago and we wanted to take Nadia to Idlewild. It's a little amusement park um, that's there because they have this Daniel Tiger thing. It used to be in Mr. Rogers neighborhood, but then they just recently in the past year or two changed it to Daniel Tiger's neighborhood and it's super cute. And so she's really into Daniel right now. So we knew that she would absolutely love meeting him. So, um, so yeah, we took her there and then, um, Oh my gosh, this is so cute. They kept saying just a second, Nadia. You know what? No, just a second filming. This is more important. Let me see your picture. I'm sorry, excuse the interruption, but look. Oh, look, look at this. Look what she just drew. It's Daniel, right? This one's Daniel, right, honey? There's Daniel, and one of them is always Margaret, and this is Prince Wednesday with his crown. Look at it, ah, it's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna frame this. This is so good, honey. Oh my gosh, her pictures. So as I was saying, this goes right along with it, she's really into Daniel. They were trying to get her to turn around for the picture and I was like, no, this is fine because she was so starstruck she couldn't stop looking at them and I thought that was even better. So cute, right? And then whenever we were, um, when we were getting ready to, to leave or, or whatever, walk away, she was like, I I'm not gonna take Tiggy, which is what he calls his little tiger and I was like, uh, were you planning on stealing his Tiggy? <laughs> like, what? No, you can't date Tiggy. <laughs> but I thought that was cute. Um, so yeah, her and Lammy got to meet Daniel and Katerina Kitty Cat, and I just thought that was adorable. So anyways, don't the colors just match so perfectly with this paper? I just think it's just, it's too perfect. So I knew I had to use this one. And um, in the kit, you also get really, really fun stuff. And I had a blog post on this, so I'm not going to share everything. I'll do an unboxing for next month. But you get these little rubber charms. Um, oh, and I just love little rubber, like, accent pieces. They add, like, the perfect amount of dimension and just, oh, they're just so fun. And you get little vellum pieces. Like, this one says today, and there's one that says happy. And you also get a bunch of wood um, veneers too. And um, and then you get doilies. Okay, and this is where I'm gonna do my whole little tips and tricks thing. The doilies are white, so they are basically, that's not a good example. I'll just show you this. They're white. <laughs> But I thought I wanted to make this a little bit more playful and fun. I love using white doilies, but since this is kind of like a really fun layout, I wanted to I wanted to add some more to it because why not? <laughs> so what I did um, is I actually used the stamp set that came this month and I used the word love that came on the stamp set and I just stamped all across the doily. And then I used um, 
or I stamped it using my watermark stamp pad. So this is a Versamark watermark stamp pad and it's clear and it's made for embossing and don't mind the fact that there's ink on it apparently. <laughs> um, it's made for embossing and then I just put uh, gold embossing powder over it. Um, this one I have. If you can even see that there we go um, I use this gold embossing powder over it and then I just heated it up with my heat gun and then I made this really pretty um, doily and I just think it adds just a little bit like an extra touch to it so in the kit you get uh, a few plain white doilies and I thought this would be just a fun thing that you could do too with even you don't even have to emboss it but you could stamp with just regular ink or colored or you could draw on it, whatever. And I just think that would be just a fun way to add just a little bit more to it. So that's my little tip, but I'm also going to do some more stuff with that same embossing um, on this page. So I thought this would also be fun. So. <clears throat> excuse me so this paper as you can see um, there's all these colorful hearts and then there's these ones that are just plain white um, and I thought on some of them I'm not gonna do it on all of them I thought on some of them I could fill it in with just some um, like some gold embossing too so that's what I'm gonna do and we're just gonna do it together um, I gotta sneeze oh my gosh <laughs> excuse me thank you because some of you probably responded with, bless you. <laughs> um, okay, so I also have this marker. It's called the Versamark. It's by the same same company, Versamark, but Versamarker. Actually, I don't even know if that's the company. No, nope, the company is this one that I can't say. T-S-U-K. Please, please focus so I don't have to try to say it. This right here. That's the company, but it's called the Versa Marker. But it's the same, it's an embossing pen. So I'm going to actually start by using this, I just call it my little uh, powder pouch. <laughs> and um, it's just gonna make sure that my fingerprints and stuff don't stick all over the page because the, the embossing powder will stick to that um, too. So I just run this over. I wonder if you could just use like baby powder or something too and dust it off. I don't know. I've never tried it, but I have this little little pouch here that's filled with powder. So, okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna take my pen and I'm gonna color in. Um, one side of this pen is a, it's like a um, fine tip, the other one's brush. So I'm just gonna use the brush because it'll be faster. And I'm just gonna fill in some of these hearts in, in the, in the ink here. So I don't know that you'll be able to see me doing this, but once I get the the powder on, you will. Okay, so I filled that all in with the marker. I'm just gonna take this piece of paper. It's not even close to being big enough. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour the embossing powder on. I might be able to get away with just doing just like this. I'm just gonna go over and take it to my heat gun and heat it up and be right back. Pretty sure Nadia can color in the lines better than me because this is kind of sloppy, but maybe it just adds to the whimsy, I don't know. But anyways, there it is. Um, so there's some gold then embossed on this paper and I think it looks, it looks pretty cute. I think it looks cuter in person where you can actually see the the shimmer a little bit more but anyways so there is that and I was thinking of maybe even doing something with this uh, this little vellum piece because I'm thinking I want where the heck is the wood veneer I had a wood veneer here and I don't know where it is shoot what in the heck okay it was right under the pictures okay I was thinking of layering this today over top of the wood veneer, but you can't really see it that well. So I was wondering what I should do with it. And then I thought maybe I could do the same thing where I could even emboss this. Just take the stamp pad and stamp it right over top. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's, let's see, this is an experiment. It's pretty much covered. I guess if it's not, it might look kind of cool too. 
All right. Here it goes. Cool. I want to, I'm sorry. I want to show you something else because I just thought of something. Okay. I'm going to put this today right here on this tag. Okay. So it's right here in the corner. And I'm going to take this stamp pad and I'm going to try to hold this down as much as I can. And I'm going to stamp right over top of it. I'm going to hold this down. Stamp. Come on, come on, come on. Then this side. I'm going to try to line it up. Sorry, my head's going to be in the way for a second. <laughs> and then stamp again. This is going to look real sloppy. This will be really sloppy, but. This might turn out really cute. Okay, I'm going to emboss this. This and this. Actually, I'm going to do this one in gold. Man, I hope this turns out okay. <laughs> dip it in there. <laughs> okay. This is going to be hard to, this is going to be hard to use the heat gun on. I don't know how to do this without it blowing away. Let me figure this out. Let me heat this up. All right, I'm back and that's what it looks like now. So that kind of worked. Well, that was fun. <laughs> now I'm going to put this away and then and then, man, it's fun playing in a craft room, is it not? It's so fun. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this. And this is kind of sloppy, and I bet I could have done this a little bit better, but I just thought of it. And then I'm going to pour this black embossing powder on top of this tag here. Um, yeah, it's a little sloppy, but that's okay. Look. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Kind of. I bet I will end up doing something like that for the happy one too. Okay. All right, I'm gonna heat that one up. Not that I plan on using this for this project, but I'm gonna heat it up anyways right now. I'll be back. <laughs> Oops, I don't think that's that's dried there, but I'll do that later. <laughs> but anyways, that's kind of fun. So you can use even the little vellum overlay things to do to do that too. So that's another idea for another time. Okay, let's get back to the project. So gosh, okay, so let's see now. Now I can just kind of put stuff down. Um I, I like to use tags. I really like to use tags. So I'm thinking something like this. I kind of like how this wood banner could go over top of that and then have this gold today. Now that's all curly. <laughs> now it's all curly. I don't think I mind very much though. Might be able to add a little bit of dimension to that there. So I'm gonna put that there. Probably do like this, another picture here. I don't know. This is where I start to take a really long time. So I'm not even sure that I'm going to finish this out here on the video, but maybe. It'll be pretty easy. Okay, so something like that maybe. And then I wanted to use this, but I think I'm going to cut apart the um, the blue paper. This little add-on. I think I'm going to cut it down a little bit to make like photo mats. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to make some photo mats with this, and I'm going to go over to my paper trimmer that's over there, cut it down, and then I think I'm probably just going to sew them behind this little card and behind 
uh, maybe just this photo. So, all right. Okay, so while I was over there at the sewing machine, I just did this and I just used a couple of the add-on papers here that match perfectly. Um, and then I sewed this. So it's just gonna sit kind of like that. I think I'm gonna put this little rubber charm here. And <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I got out my crepe paper and I just sewed some together here to kind of put along the edge. I sewed quite a bit actually. I did not measure that correctly. There's a whole lot, but anyways, maybe I'll put that on the edge or I don't know, on the top. I don't know, maybe I won't use it at all, who knows. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of these things together. And um, I think that's pretty much just what I'm going to end up doing, is just gluing this down as is, and then I'll stamp it and do all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna leave you off here because I think the video is probably way too long. <laughs> and I just wanna thank you so much for watching and um, I hope to talk to y'all soon. Okay, bye.